Dungeon Runners Podcast. Give us 10 seconds. <laughs> Damn it, I was about to start. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I'm about to start, you fucking heard it. <laughs> you know what? Fuck it. We're starting with that. Welcome to the Dungeon Runners Podcast. I am your host, General Drown, and today we have a very special guest, Chris McPasta. That's me. <laughs> And just cough uh, during my introduction. <laughs> Do it again. I want a proper introduction. I'm a special guest. I have to be revered. All right. <laughs> Stop okay. laughing. What is wrong with you? Why are you dying? <laughs> Ten seconds of the podcast. Spike, Spike, Spike Matt, it's already dead. <laughs> All right. This week we have a very special guest, and it's Chris McPasta. That's me. Yeah. That's better. That's better. It's better. Keep going. <laughs> Feed me. <laughs> Feed my ego. And as usual, we have Matt. Yay. And Mr. Creepypasta. Hello. Or Spike. So everybody will call me. Yeah, well, everybody knows you as Mr. Creepypasta. Mm. Well, you know. This is, how, this is how you chose your life, Spike. I know. I'm aware. <laughs> this I, is my, that's <laughs> my curse to live with. That's a, that's a personal burden for me because I thought of my name while signing up because I was going to only do this temporarily. <laughs> I, I, I thought of it so last second, my email address to my YouTube is different to the username because I thought about it that last second. <laughs> wow, you're just like, I'm going to make a life decision right now. <laughs> Yo, I didn't well, know it was going to be a life decision. <laughs> yeah. That's the only thing I do online for about it. So you could have been decision. not Creeps Look Pasta, but something I else. Could've, yeah. You could have been anything. You could have been even Spike. Well, actually, I know what it could have been because I know I signed up with, but no one will ever know. <laughs> <laughs> so, I have a theoretical question for you. If you guys, if you were challenged by a seven-year-old pro- music prodigy to an instrument battle, what instrument would you choose and why? By the way, this question was sent to us by a uh, emailer named Angel. I won't give out the rest of the name, but thank you for your email. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, wait, what was it? If you were, if you were a, if you were challenged by a seven-year-old music prodigy. To an instrument battle. What instrument would you choose and why? See, can you choose their the instrument? What? Or yeah, just what's your their own? Can you choose? Yeah, can you choose that one or just your own? Uh, uh, I think it's, it's the as, choice of like, uh, like what are you going to compete with, right? So yeah. the question's more or less like, what are what are you because, best at playing? At this because point? they're a music prodigy. A, a music prodigy. That means they're good. <laughs> music. See, I prodigy. know what I'd do. I, I know how I'd win. What? So I, I'd be, if they if they pick guitar, let's say they pick guitar, I'd say, I want to pick guitar. I'll go first. So I'll borrow their guitar because obviously I don't have my own. I'll mash away something really random. doesn't even have to be good. Just mash away anything. Then pick it up by the neck and slamming on the ground and then break it to pieces. When now? Then he can't when compete. Now? Like that's yeah, so he can't, backhand he can't. dirty. <laughs> so, I played, if he's a prodigy and I have the disadvantage, the trick is make yourself the winner by default. <laughs> I like, I like Griefs' way of thinking, mainly because I was going to choose to do something very similar. <laughs> Wait, what are you going to do? <laughs> it, it was basically, hey, he said instrument. So instrument of violence? Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's true. So my instrument was going to be a baseball bat. <laughs> and That's the main not... note was like a C major, which is like, you know, a clock on the head. See, you're missing on the pun. Like, oh, yeah. Like the kid would come in being all slang, being all fad, being all cool and be like, yeah, I brought my axe. And then you're like, I brought my axe. And you just go Jason Voorhees on his little seven year old butt. <laughs> I like how we're, we're bringing violence into a situation in which nothing's on the line. With a yeah. seven year old. With a seven year old. <laughs> hey, but. You, oh, but by, by the way, I like to put into uh, perspective that the person who sent this email also put in quotation marks. Pretty sure Spike will let them win, like in Momocon. Wow! Oh! <laughs> let them win? Oh, that that that's rich. Hey, Matt. Wow! I, oh, wow! You weren't there, man. You were in front of people being Matt. judged. <laughs> Matt, put uh, in the video again. Mr. Kiwi Pasta, you got your butt kicked by a kid. God damn it. <laughs> no. Okay. This, this, this is an old topic, and I had to let the kid win. There's no other okay, way around it. You're on stage in a convention, right? And there's a seven year old playing video games, and you have to fight him. He's a How prodigy of games. He's, he's a prodigy actually, of video games. He's naturally right? talented. He's playing over 100 hours of Minecraft. Well, it's a diff- Yeah, it's a different situation. If he's if it's naturally talented, we know that he's a prodigy. We know that he's yeah. good at this. Cool. I'm okay with trying my best to beat the shit out of a child. But if so it's that like, unheard of punch him up game or whatever you're playing, that beat him up game that you're playing, he's really good at it. And you're like, oh no, I've got to let him win as you're getting your ass whopped. 
That's can not. I, can I? Mm. <laughs> can I say the ultimate? Can I say the ultimate demasculating thing? Girls no. were watching. Oh, oh. oh. That, oh. that's why I let him win. Because girls were watching. <laughs> watching. Girls I don't want to be seen as a monster. <laughs> <laughs> I, I want girls to see a winner when I'm on stage. That's why I'm going to smash the guitar. <laughs> they want to see oh. who's the dominant one. <laughs> this is my stage. <laughs> see, the other thing you can do is, like, say they're playing a wind instrument. Uh, like a, I don't know, a clarinet. Why not? He's a clarinet specialist. Just secretly bring a lemon to the stage and just start chewing on it. And no. you, you know when you see someone eating a lemon, you kind of get that mouth-watering, blah, blah, blah. No, no I think but, you're onto something, though. Aside from doing, like, the lemon, and, like, this would probably be the way that I'm going to go, you just play the experimental artist. Like, that's how you just need to go with this. So <laughs> you just start eating a lemon and claim that that's this new form of experimental music that you're going with. You just start scatting down a tube or something. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's experimental. Nobody can tell me if it's good or bad. Thus far, I must be the best. Can I, can I just say, knowing Matt, he'd show up to the, like, he'd do no research. He'd just show up with a lemon thinking he's going to win. And then the kid will be there on, like, a ukulele, like, oh, I'm screwed. <laughs> <laughs> you just start rubbing the lemon with your fingers, seeing if it does the same thing. <laughs> well, Shooting seeds that, out of her. That one instrument that plays itself with the marbles. It's like, it's loads of what? raining marvels, but it plays like different notes and it, you can make it play like songs and stuff. It's, it's all like, clockwork. It's like bringing your MP3 player. <laughs> oh, I'll bring oh, an MP3 player. Nobody player. said that you can. <laughs> I'll bring a jukebox. <laughs> like a DJ thing. Just a spinning record. Yeah, I just have, I just have just other artists here. Every now and me. again and shout DJ Khaled. <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys hear about that? No, no what? Got booed off stage. Wait, Apparently what? he was so cringeworthingly bad. I didn't hear any of it because um, it was on Twitter. Uh, I think there must have been a video out there somewhere, but I didn't see it. Um, basically, the his set was basically this other DJ playing songs and would occasionally rewind the track and go, and he just shout stuff like DJ Khaled down the mic. <laughs> And he just got booed <laughs> straight up. The <laughs> what the hell does that even mean? He's just saying his own name every once in a while. What's the thing? He's not like a musician or anything. He's a DJ, so his life. But if he's not DJing, he's just DJ Khaled. No, I was just like, where is? Where was this? Uh, LA something or other. Probably can Google it. No, because like there was one thing. Like um, Megan, uh, Megan, my wife went off to um, a uh, like this Metallica concert recently. Oh, and yeah. Um, yeah, it was Metallica. She went for Avenged Sevenfold, and uh, Volbeat was also supposed to be there, but Volbeat ended up canceling. Oh. So um, they replaced him with like this local band, and she was saying like, and a DJ. <laughs> she was like, like <laughs> so they there was like a DJ playing EDM in the middle of this like metal concert. Do they know their audience at all? I don't know. That that was that seemed wild to me. Like I'm not I'm not into honestly I'm not into like a whole lot of like really heavy stuff like she is, but. I, I at least know the difference between the two genres. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. That actually reminds me, like, genre mixi mixing is pretty fucking amazing. Because, like, did you go you guys remember the episode of The Simpsons, which is something I reference a lot, um, uh, when Homer was taking cannibals to the stomach? Yeah. And oh, there's, yeah. there's this tiny segment of uh, insane, in the, insane in the Brain played on classical instruments. It's fucking amazing. It's like, that's all you ever get of it, ever. But it's fucking great. Like, they nail it with their musical instruments. It's just like, why doesn't that exist in our our reality? You know? Yeah, yeah. It's just like it's just like there's things in shows that show off like seven seconds bits, and then you'll never see them again. Ah, for real. All you want like, out of life is just yeah. like covers what? of music that's not not done by the traditional genre. Yeah. Oh, it's like um, you guys know who Richard Cheese is? Oh yeah. No. Uh, yeah. The what? Lounge no? Against the Machine. Yeah. Yeah. He, he he's sings a, in Vegas. Yeah, he's a lounge singer. Yeah. And he, he does covers of pretty much anything. Oh, yeah, yeah. He did, like, a, a cover of Stronger, the Kanye West song. Um, mm. Didn't he do a Get Down by the Sickness? Yeah. yeah. But it's all like, you're more to get up, get down by oh, the guy, sickness. Yeah. It's like all suave and sweet. Yeah, he, he got really famous. I was in, um, uh, what is Dawn it? Of Dawn of the Dead. Yeah. Yeah. He That's a cool Vegas, movie. Man. Next time uh, you guys are in America, we'll go We'll go see him in Vegas. Ah, uh, dude, yeah. that's down. Yeah, we'll go. Wait, yeah. oh, you, you never want to come to Vegas. America, Jen. Uh, yeah, I want to come to America. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm never down to go to Vegas. Every time I'm like, yeah, we should go to Vegas, you're like, eh. It's like Yeah, but that's because you want to do hard decisions. I don't want to do hard decisions. I want to gamble. <laughs> yeah, I want to double my money. Look, I love gambling. I know the problems with gambling, though. <laughs> 
There's no problems with gambling. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Matt, we yeah. have to cover the second episode of the podcast again. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I think my literally the second episode was titled Matt's Gambling Addiction. <laughs> 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 Shut up. System. Betting system. It works. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. So keeping on top of like with uh, music related stuff, you guys play any instruments, by the way? So I'm not t- me myself. I'm not musically gifted. I can't even keep up a rhythm. I literally managed to. I haven't played an instrument in years, but I finally brought my guitar over from my parents' house here, and now I can finally start again because the guitar is the most cheatiest instrument to play if you don't learn it properly. But it can sound say- amazing, just don't learn properly. Yeah, when I was trying to pick up playing the guitar a couple of years ago, actually, when I think I, I first met you, you were trying to show yeah. me ways to cheat the guitar. <laughs> <laughs> you can shortcut it. It's so easy to shortcut. Was it just watch a YouTube tutorial or something? Just watch YouTube tutorials, learn four chords and learn how to put a capo on. Suddenly you can play every pop song ever. I, I yeah, there wasn't there was there was a whole thing about that before that every pop song is essentially just four chords, right? Yeah, so the four chords are awesome. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. I mean, that I can't work for literally everything, though. The, the trick is, it's not really the same four chords. It's actually just the same chord progression. And it's a common chord progression because it sounds good. But then you can sing any song in that progression and it sounds like the original, even though it's not technically the same chords. Gotcha. That's the secret. That's the <laughs> secret. But don't tell no one. People think this. People like to think they're like cool hipster snobs when they're like, all oh, pop music is the same four chords. When in reality, the music they listen to probably follows a similar chord progression. Well, I mean, there's only... The fucking guitar only has so many chords. There's loads of chords. Yeah, Ah. you can play anything. Yeah, name three. Yeah, name your top three guitar chords. A, B, and C. (laughs) 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 Do you want want me to keep going? I can keep going. Go, go for it. Go for it, Matt. D. Uh Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. E. Oh, man. Slow down there, Sonny. (laughs) You ready for the next one? F. As in F U. Oh shit! Oh, oh, wow. oh shit! And do it again. He oh, said it. Oh, oh shit! Oh shit! Matt, Matt, get a clip of that and post it again five times. <laughs> um, what about, what for about you, Matt? For me, yeah. um, I got to grade seven classical piano when I was younger. Whoa! So, excuse me. What? You play a fucking piano? Yeah, I was classically trained. Wow. What? What do you do now? Good. His name I, is Audionic Music. <laughs> his no, name I knew is, you created music. However, his I didn't name know is you Matt. Played piano. Yeah, I used to do piano lessons because you know I'm Asian, so I, I used I, to get forced to do these things. And why then, did you um, never bring this up before? No one ever asked. Jen's the only nice person who's ever asked me. Thank you, Jen. You're welcome. I, I, oh, I, used I feel to like do, we bonded. Uh, I used to do music lessons, and then the teacher quit on me. Because <laughs> what, what it is, I was, I was a weird kid where I was considered, like, musically gifted, and I never practiced. And I, like, they, they used to keep track of it. You used to write down how often you practice, and I'd be like, never. And then they were like, they, they, they didn't even tell me. She just went up to my mom and was like, look, after this next grade, we're going to drop him. We want to we wanna find someone more, you know, more, more dedicated than this and that. You know, like, so after this, you know, we'll just put him through the next exam. He'll get his grade and then, you know, go find another teacher. I come back and then, and then they, they tell me this after I get my grade. And they're like, yeah, look, we had a talk with your mom and we're going to drop you because, um, you know, this and this and that. Like, this is why you just seem really lazy. It's like, what grade did I get? A distinction. <laughs> like the highest <laughs> grade. <laughs> wow. Um, with my one, like when I was doing my GCSEs, which is like the high school sort of uh, 15, 16 when you, year old sort of test uh, just before you kind of go into sixth form or college. And we had to do a music test. Um, but the thing is, like most of the stuff that was on the test was stuff I'd already covered. And I just read the book like an hour before the test and managed to get an A. <laughs> Oh my god. What is wrong with um, you guys? I, oh, did I ever tell you? Um, okay, this is a weird story. This is, I, I, I think this counts. So I was learning three... You have to learn three songs for an exam uh, with various different styles or whatever. And for my sixth form stuff, you needed to do a performance in front of a examiner and then talk about the music. So, you know, you play a song and they say, like, what's this? Oh, it's Latino-inspired, uh, funk sort of thing. And the head of music was like, right, listen, guys. 
this music you're gonna do, you need to learn how to play it in front of people. So we're gonna make you play it in front of people. And I was like, man, I don't like playing in front of people. As you can tell, I don't like doing anything in front of people, let alone playing music. It's so nerve wracking. You kind of like get people. nervous. Yeah, I don't like people. What? So I go to this thing and there's like loads of mums and parents and stuff. And you know, there's the kids doing these things. And I, I have my category, which is kind of like uh, jazz inspired. Because some reason, one of the exam pieces I had wasn't classical. It was like a Latino funk thing. And I did it and they were like, cool. Uh, yeah, you came first. And I was like, what? This is a competition? What? <laughs> and I managed to beat all these other, like, teenagers and kids and stuff. And I got, a, like, one of the biggest trophies. And I was like, I didn't know this is a competition. But the thing that bummed me out the most was everyone who won in their category had to play the thing again <laughs> in the winning ceremony. I was like, I was tempted just to give it to second place because I didn't want to play again. <laughs> 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 and they just... <laughs> Like I had my name engraved in it. It was really nice. But I was like, I don't what I didn't know this is a conversation. I, was so I wasn't confused. informed. <laughs> no, I had no idea. What the hell? <laughs> don't you don't you have to be like signed up for that? Don't yeah. They have to tell you? Yeah, no, they've signed me up for it because I like, listen, you need to do this. Okay. Oh, so they, they told you, the... but they didn't tell you it was a competition. Yeah, they said it's mandatory to play at this so and so they had a name for it, like so and so whatever festival or whatever it's called. And I was like, oh, fine, whatever. And yeah, the other one was I used to play tuba. No, not tuba, trombone. The one with the oh, slider dude. Really? Same. Yeah. You, oh, did you play you, trombone? Yeah, when uh, I was in high school, I used to play trombones. You guys played instruments? Yeah, Jen. Uh -huh. I was high school marching band, dude, for like three years out of the four. Oh, that's right. You're fucking huh? dork. Yeah, I was. <laughs> <laughs> Aren't you also in the chess team? Look, no, I was not in the chess team. I was on the Scrabble team. Much better. <laughs> Much better. We need to play Scrabble. <laughs> oh, dude, I'm down to play Scrabble. I mean, I still uh, sucked at it, but I was on the team. All right, so Fuck. what's Scrabble? Yeah. What, you say, what is Scrabble? Yeah. It's, it's words with friends. Okay, what is words with friends? Fucking nice subject. <laughs> Spike, weren't you president of the Japanese club or whatever? Okay, look, okay, we all had weird times when we were teenagers. Are you happy? Are you, weren't you emperor of the weave club? I, I still have the picture of you cross-dressing as Tifa. Why do you have it? <laughs> I actually know that picture's gone. No, that would have gone. No, stolen. I've lost it. I yeah, keep my no, wallet every day. No. You can just send it to you again. Spike, send it to the again. He needs it. I don't, I don't have it. I don't he, even he, have that. He needs a wallet size. I don't even oh, have no. that, dude. Is the oh, only copy of that picture gone now? Oh, I might have it in my some old, old archives. I have some archives from like 2013. Hey, if you're anything like me and have like the backup log for Skype, you will have every conversation you've ever had. Like, you know, we have a chat called Dungeon Runners on Skype. That I have have the chat log from the beginning, from like when it started. Wow, it's like five years of chat logs. Yeah, what? And it Good fucking. God. I tried load. I tried loading it once, and it took like three hours to load. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, dude. But like, man, it was crazy. Matt wasn't even there. Matt didn't used to be part of the, the group. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. He got, he got in a recommendation. Yeah. Yeah, I was I was in through um, nepotism. <laughs> you were brought in by a friend. <laughs> <laughs> I had no idea who you were, what you did, but we needed a force. No, like what? What was your huh? proudest moment playing the the trombone? You, 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 can you still play it? The proud moments playing the trombone. Yeah, what well, was like your, your most memorable bit? I don't think God, I, there there really wasn't one. I actually like um. I get like when I was in middle school is when I started playing the trombone. And I guess it was really cool being in like when I was when I was playing in jazz band. That was interesting. Uh, because then I could actually, you know, have fun with it and and play songs I was actually into to listening to versus just like orchestrated or, or marching music. Uh, so like I got to play a lot of jazz solos on the trombone uh, back when I was good at it. I I probably could remember how to play like if I picked it up again. But like right now, just like off the top of my head, if you just handed me an instrument and like here play something, I'd be like I I uh I, I don't know what I'm doing. Like I I completely forgotten. I haven't touched it in eleven years. <laughs> That's like she said. <laughs> wow. <Hey>. Wow. <laughs> Got absolutely, him. Absolutely decimated. I hate this. I don't want to be in this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> um, I already said, but I don't play instruments. I never touched an instrument. I don't. They had recorder classes in elementary class in elementary oh, yeah. school. 
didn't take that. So I never became musically in tuned ever. Dude, that that's never the gateway to instruments. That's just like some teacher who's read a book and is just trying to figure it out as they're teaching it to kids. Why does every school do it though? Every school, I thought it was just a weird thing that our school did, but then no. everyone's got a memory of uh, a recorder class being held in little school. Yeah, it's just like everybody got one and everybody had to pay for one. And it was just like, I was left yeah. out and I was like, why? You had to pay for them? Yeah, you had to pay for them. But they were so useless. Yeah, I was going to say, I've never had to pay for one. I had the recording class too when I was in uh, like at uh, on base school it, for the uh, for the military. In the military. Yeah, well, when I was in elementary school, one of the, one of the I guess, three reasons that um, I didn't get it is because one of them was you had to pay for it. The other two being you had to be in this uh, these types of classes, which were like uh like because they introduced it after i got into my class but it wasn't introduced to these sets of classes because it was taught by these teachers i don't know it was, it was a weird thing but like yeah you had to pay for it there and I was like i talked to people about it it's like hey can i play it's like no we, if it gets broken we have to pay for it buy a new one it's like oh and then really? now, so cheap. And now you see your fucking recorder in every thrift store also yeah, don't seriously. also don't play a recorder that's in a thrift store it's been on someone's mouth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, see, that's the bad thing. When I when we when I was at um, elementary school and and the military base, um, they would just you just had a like the class just had a set of recorders. No, that they would just they would just kind of clean, and then the next class came in, and then they used it. <laughs> okay, I'm glad. I, I'd rather Ugh. pay for it. I've, yeah. I've I've seen someone play the recorder and then tip it over, and jewel just came out. Yeah, that that's what it was like, man. Mm. Oh, it's fucking great. Oh my god, it's disgusting. Why That's is your first kiss. Why is- oh. <laughs> 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 you got your first indirect kiss from someone on the recorder. That's good. Sounds good. Yeah. GG, winning at elementary. You're like sticking the recorder in your mouth and you're like, yeah, I could taste, I could taste like a meal. <laughs> no, it's, yeah. it's the strong belief that um, musical talent is uh, transferred via spit. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. So, is that why you guys three are, you know, play instruments? Wait, what? <laughs> I never did woodwind. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Talking about playing the same instrument. Yeah. <laughs> I did violin. Any, no. Anyways, uh, how you guys' week been? Let's start with Spike. My week? Yeah. Oh, my week got crazy. Um, I'll go ahead and bring this up. My my cat's currently um under quote rabies quarantine. What? Yeah. What? Um. So. Herc, like my cat's Hercules, and um, he's a he's a scruffy boy because um, the, the we had to take him to the vet. He had to get updated on his shots, and uh, he had to get updated on his um, his flea medication and things like that. So we took him over to the vet, and um, he doesn't like the vet obviously because last time he was there, they cut his balls off. And I don't see the problem. <laughs> yeah, no, totally fine. Oh, that heart that broke my my goddamn heart when I brought him in there, and they he's just like tiny little baby. He's crying. He doesn't want to be left there on his own. That was broke my heart. Again. But um, yeah, we brought him back again to be able to do this. He's a full grown cat. He's over a year old. But he's um, like yeah, he he was kind of nervous, but he was okay. They took him back to give him his shots and everything. And um, when they when they brought him back, though, however, he uh, he kind of freaked out. He scratched his vet. He scratched the um, the assistant. And, um, you know, it's not something that's uncommon. It happens. So the the vet, you know, gave him back to us, basically told us, like, OK, so he's going to, need to be brought back and he's going to need to be sedated for us to, to go through all the tests with him and to give him his shots, which is kind of upsetting. But, you know, it's it's whatever, as long as he's OK. But the. Um, the problem was after we left, apparently the vet's um, scratch that she got on her palm didn't stop bleeding. Uh. So she went over to the clinic and oh. ha- had them take a look at it. Um, and the doctor of the clinic told her that she needs to uh, make a report um, with, with animal control about the, about the scratch. Uh, she didn't want to do that. Cause she's, like, she's Herc's vet. So <laughs> she's like, yeah, I know everything that's, that could possibly be wrong with the cat. Like, I know. We don't have to go through this. But apparently, by law, she has to do this. So we get a call yesterday about um, about Herc that he needs to go underneath. He needs to go under a rabies quarantine until they have his, his records, which they already had too. Because as soon as the vet was done, she sent the records. Uh, but he still needs to go through two other examinations to make sure he doesn't have rabies, and then he has to go through a like a second one to make sure that rabies isn't gestating in him and then going to develop. Um, so they, in normal cases, they would take him away, uh, and they would make him like they would keep him in a cage there. Um, to make sure that he can't have interaction with other animals, but he's Man, that would just cat. wound him. That would just wound him up so badly. Yeah, he would. He would be terrified. Plus, he'd be gone for like almost a week. They would take him yeah. away for almost a week. Yeah, um, 
Yeah, I, I, oh, not just for him. Like that would drive me wild, man. Like I, if I know that, like, oh yeah, my cat's just he's got he's he's off at like a pound area. They're just keeping him in a cage. He doesn't get the proper care. He's gonna be terrified. That would tear me up. Yeah. Um, oh my god. But like just Lee think- just got through today. Like apparently he can stay home. He's still under a uh, rabies quarantine, but he's under a rabies quarantine at the house. But we're house arrest. Yeah, essentially, yeah. And we have there are rules that we have to follow for that. But we're not. We're, I mean, like, yeah, we're supposed to follow. <laughs> they, uh, essentially, he's supposed to be kept in a room by himself where he can't leave. He has to have a food bowl and a water bowl in there, and only me or Megan can check on him. We can't be both. And there's no visitors allowed in the house. There's no um, other animals allowed in the house. He's not allowed to leave that room. So we just keep him in the living room. Oh, he likes to explore. He, um, he does. He's, he's, he it gets him into trouble, too, because he'll jump up on the banister where he shouldn't be because he's already fallen one time to the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's so funny. But no, yeah. No, it's funny. But um, the uh, it's just been a rough, a rough couple of days dealing with that because, you know, an animal control has, the, has basically has the ability if they team the any animal. Um, that it's dangerous that they can just order them to be put down. Yeah, and no. I mean, like, even though I know nobody was going to be that cruel, it's still hard to kind of deal with, you know? I, I don't want... I don't want to think that something like that could happen to my cat. <laughs> yeah, seriously. If I can... Most vets don't actually like animal control, control because their answer is always put down. Yeah. Like, uh, they, they, it's their solution to everything. I, I just sca- I'm, I'm, I've been scared of it, but it seems like everything is going to be okay. So yeah, that's that's good for that. That's good on my end. Not to to, to put that into more of a uh, uh, to more of a lighter note on that. <laughs> fine. So. The light note is her is fine. The vet already knows that. The vet already told them that he doesn't have rabies, not getting yeah. rabies. They've already done the shots for it. They've done the work for it. It's just dumb uh, shit they process that you have to go through. Yeah, yeah, and uh, that's just kind of a stressful process. Honestly. Yeah, but it it should turn out okay. Yeah. Yeah. You now speaking of cats, grapes, you're weak. Big cats. <laughs> I, I touched the cat today and I was really happy. And he came over to me and I touched him and he bumped head and he was really nice. I've been also looking at cat adoptions lately because they're oh. really nice, but oh, I'm still shit. too scared to commit. But I saw a cat bed today and I took a picture of it because it was like a shark and it goes in the mouth of the shark and the shark goes. <gasps> oh my god, dude, dude, you should you should adopt the cat. Like honestly, should, it's nice to have 10. another. You should yeah. just buy the. You should just buy the bed. Fuck the cat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I mean in all, in all honesty, in, in honesty, <laughs> like dude, you should you should really adopt a cat. Fuck the bed. Get the cat. I should do because crippling loneliness is horrible when you're in a house alone that's super haunted. But it's really nice because cats are really cool and they can scare away the spooky ghosts and yeah. creepers if you play Minecraft. <laughs> Wait, can they? <laughs> What was yeah, that thing? They scare I don't know if you can talk about this, but what was that thing you were telling us yesterday? Let's uh, play Minecraft or some shit like that, or Seven, seven Days to Die? What's that? The When you were invited to Seven Days to Die. Oh, what about it? Oh, yeah, I was, I was the... playing Seven Days to Die with some friends on a live stream, and but instead of finding them lot, I just lived on my own. Did in you? In a house. Yeah, just yeah I, I didn't tell you. Rock. I just, I, I was not featured in any of the live streams, barely. Except for one time when some like, they just coincidentally ran past my house talking about a utopia they wanted to make. I was having so much fun though. I was just on my own collecting rocks, collecting wood. I found a pistol and I shot a zombie with it and I was like so empowered. And then I got a bow and arrow and I was like catnits. And I just put all my upgrade points into bow and arrow stuff and I was shooting them. And I almost died and I did die once. <laughs> so can I tell you something? You know, but, in Seven Days to Die, you can register the other players in the world as your friend and you can see them on the map. Yeah. Yeah. You can actually like get them on your mini maps to get closer. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I did. I was watching them. I just didn't go up to them. <laughs> you was... chose to be alone? <laughs> I chose to... No, I found really, like, cool small house. And I just... I was just having so much fun on my own. <laughs> Who needs friends when I have a house? Yeah. What's uh, wrong with you? I understand that. Who needs friends when I have a house? <laughs> yeah. I lived like how I do in real life, just on my own in a house, crying. <laughs> <laughs> Wishing I had a cat. No, in all, in all seriousness, Creeps, you should totally, you should totally adopt a cat. Just to have one with you all the time. Wake up in the morning, have that little personality that just like hops up on your bed and then paws you in the eyeball. Oh man, you give me war that. flashbacks of Hercules. <laughs> <laughs> Implying Hercules was a bad cat. Well, no, well, I slept downstairs and uh, at Spike's house, I was cat sitting for him. He's not allowed on the kitchen counters. 
guess where he kept going at three in the morning when I couldn't be asked to get out of <laughs> the sofa? me and Megan weren't home. That's why he would do it, because he knew that you weren't going to do anything. What is he going to do? Oh, man. Matt, why did you just sleep in Spike's bed? Yeah, why, actually, why didn't you? Uh, I can't I remember. I don't want to touch the stains. I don't want to touch the stains. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, they are with it. I was just like, I would have like ju- just went in Spice closet, put on his clothes, and you know, go to sleep. Just for, yeah, I can't just believe you dressed up in my slippers. clothes and <laughs> pretended to be me. <laughs> <laughs> just streamed on his computer. <laughs> <laughs> just access you YouTube. Know, oh, do you know what I just remembered? Mm. What up? If I get a cat, I'd have to restructure my security in my house because I have like eight motion sensors, and anything oh. that moves in here would turn on an ear bleeding alarm. <laughs> I would need to Wait, fix the that. thing is Get like the how ones. sensitive is the motion control though like if, like a fly land is like it flies in the room well, I mean, like, there's it a certain thing, because like, if the cat, if the cat's moving slowly throughout the room, it still shouldn't put it off because he's so small. Oh, so we can't you can get a pet for any ones, so I'd need to get them instead. You need yeah. to get one of the, you need to get one of those, what, what was that thing? Uh, it was a, like, uh, a walkie-talkie that throws out pet food or some shit. Oh, <laughs> yeah, you could play with your, you can play with your cat via your, uh, via your smartphone. Oh, no, I want to do that. See, I'd do that even if I wasn't out. Because I'd, I'd just be on the sofa like, come here, cat. You're going to get a treat. Just play. I'm just going to lie here and not move. So you, so you need to get a Roomba so you, like your cat can stand on top of it and just travel the house. Oh, have you ever seen a Roomba like runs over dog poop? Oh, my God. It's so bad. It smears oh. everywhere. It, it smears and it destroys the fuck out of the Roomba. Really? Oh, you wouldn't want to use it. The room, no, the Roomba just gets fucking destroyed. Like, its yeah. ears get eaten up. <sighs> like oh my god see this is why you don't let your dog poop in. you don't so you don't let your dog in the house like you need to have your dog super fucking trained so it doesn't poop ever <laughs> just uh, <laughs> never poop. train it to never to poop <laughs> <laughs> bad dog you know better no poop <laughs> looks like a sperm mile by the end of the week <laughs> oh my god <laughs> <laughs> good dog <laughs> 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 Matt, how was your week? Uh, then, uh, you know, I haven't actually been up too much this week. I think the only new update is I've been winning a bit more money on poker. Yeah, I know it's not a problem when you're winning. So shut up. And I've got a new addiction, which is a new one. Yeah, I get new, new addictions like every other week. Uh, this one's more of an old addiction just coming back. But the thing is, like, ever since I was a kid, I've always wanted to do airsoft and have an airsoft gun, but I've never gotten one and I've never been. And lately, all I've been doing is shopping around for them. I'm probably never going to buy one. I'm probably never going to go. But I just keep shopping around and reading loads of reviews and watching loads of reviews and shopping around for the best deals and finding, like, awesome sites for, like, building my own hypothetical oh, dream man. custom See, layout. Can, can I can I add on to that story? Go ahead. Do you, go, do you guys know much about tarot cards? Uh, no, 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 actually, no. Yeah. I know of them. Well, yeah, you know of them. Like, you, you, you draw them, you read them. They, they, like, each card means a different thing. Some are bad, some are good, some are yeah. neutral. Some just mean, like, the end of something. Yeah, they all have stands. I, they all have yeah, stands. Yeah. <laughs> Jojo. So, um, I, I, I had a few, like, I have, like, the most basic deck, like, the first 22 cards. And I was like, Matt, I'm going to do my first ever reading for your airsofting, should you do it? So I shuffle it. I do like like loads of different shuffles, like to, doing it one at a time, dealing it out, then putting it together, shuffling it. And I made Matt cut it, and I made Matt pick a card. He got the tower. Wow. The I worst like card you can ever get. Wait, it's like, it's the best card or is it? It's the worst. It's the oh, worst. really? Never- it's literally depicting a lightning bolt hitting a tower and a king and queen falling like on fire. It's like, you, you don't ever want the tower. And Matt, I was like, Matt, this is the, this is, we should just use this if you want to do airsofting since you, you know, you're not going to do it. The tower. I feel like he's going to get like shot by the police if he buys a gun. Because <laughs> he's going to falsely report him for having a real gun or something. Yeah. Well, since, since you've been doing this with Tara, let me, I, see, I didn't understand how it works. Are you supposed to be, is it the power actually with the cards itself or is it, uh, you're supposed to be, um, like sensitive to, uh, sensitive to something like that or, or, you know, being able you to can... do it with yourself? You, if you want to go into the whole belief thing of it, like, oh, yeah, the person doing has to be attuned to this and that. But in reality, it's all about the cards because they all tell a different, they all tell like a different meaning. And when you do like, say, a single card reading is like really basic for like yes or no questions. 
for simple questions and then you can do a three card reading but then you can get complicated ones like a celtic cross which has like a cross shape and then four along the side and each one means something different and then each one correlates different to different things so it it can be as complicated as you want it to be so the hmm. only thing i know about uh tarot cards and you won't believe this but uh i've learned it from the simpsons and it was <laughs> uh the death card means uh there's like new things to come or some shit like it's actually yeah the death uh, card isn't bad yeah it's like a good card yeah it's a good card it just means the end of something yeah so like say if, say if you're in a career and you're like oh i'm very stagnating you know and you get death it just means like just quit and do something different you know yeah, you know what it's tower crazy. The tower card could be like I'm at an airsoft field and it's like an indoor CQV one, and I'm defending this thing all my own because I'm so badass. I'm like pew 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 pew. pew. Oh, I get it, Matt, because you completely decimate your opponents. You destroy uh, them. I'm the lightning. You know, you you, you had, are the lightning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, no, I I've um I've had a few tower card readings, and I've only once got the tower. Only <laughs> once. What was Matt, the tower? Was what when, did you get the tower for, though? Exactly. I'm going to tell that story. So I was at a house auction. That, you know the house I live in now, this really tiny apartment house thing behind a bunch of shops. We got it really cheap at auction. And I was, just before I got it, I called someone. I was like, do, do a little tarot card reading. You know, humor me. You know, let's see what I get. The tower. I'm like, oh no, does that mean I'm not going to get it? And I got um... it at Askin. I got it at a good price. I'm like, that's weird. So what does it mean? Months later, with some friends going up north on the way home, I, I tell him about the place and he's like, oh yeah, I, I know the person who lived there. And he tells me that story I've told you guys a million times where the owner met a woman, her son died in a motorcycle accident, so she hung herself in my bedroom, my lovely bedroom, yeah, and then he get... decided to just die in my living room. And you got a free and... bed after it. It's a decided yeah, I got a free to... mattress. I got the death mattress from my death house. <gasps> yeah, for free. For free, yeah. Exactly. Wait, wait, wait. The tower is bullcrap. Wait, death mattress? This is the mattress like uh, that was under her when she hung herself? All right. No, no, back no, no, it no. Up. It's back up. Tell a story. Yeah, yeah. Have you not heard the story? I I think I've heard it, but not from you. So I don't think the details were as they were supposed to be. Really? Okay. So yeah, when, when I first saw this place, I saw like an upside down couch in the garden. It was all overgrown and there's some rolled up carpet. I go inside and there's like a few bits of food in the cupboard and the whole place just stripped of like all its, like a lot of its furniture. It's still got a few bits. I go upstairs and there's a brand new mattress. And um, yeah, cut to when I was talking to my friend. He tells me that this guy who works for the council was a really, you know, really um, good gardener, this and that. And he met a woman who worked at the council who had a stepson, who had a son, sorry. So he had a stepson. He died in a motorcycle accident. She got depressed, killed herself in my bedroom. He just gives up living and just basically gets super depressed, doesn't eat, poops himself everywhere. He just does not want to live. And how they found him was um, my friend's dad and his friends, who also worked for the council, all chipped in to get this guy a mattress because, he, you know, he messed up his one. They bring it over and that's when they find him dead on the couch with all the messed up carpets. Wait, so in the garden. Killed him? What? He what just killed him? didn't eat, didn't eat, didn't look after himself, just died. Oh, wow. He just gave up. And that's where I live. And <laughs> I'm also next to a really, really haunted building. And the ghost doesn't just haunt the building, it haunts the street I'm on. So there's three ghosts. Dude, I want to live there. Yeah, I want to live there. I like living here. Except someone once said they saw a dark figure. Some people refuse to sit with their back to the stairs, you know. It's just, it just depends on how, you know, it depends on the person, really. Ah, there are a bunch of carrots. No, I was going to say, you live in an area that has a lot of character, dude. <laughs> Alright. Yeah. You know... I don't really talk about myself much, because uh, I don't like talking about myself. But, did you know, someone died in the room that's next to mine's? Wow. No? Yeah, <laughs> so, uh, like, a couple of months before my uh, parents actually went and rented this house, because they're not owners. Um, well, parent. Anyways, um, uh, they came here to check out the house, and they found, uh, they found that there was police checking it out, so they couldn't actually come into the house, but they, uh, uh, they were asking about, like, oh, what, what happened here? Like, what's, what's going on? Uh, they said, uh, the other night, someone was throwing a party, uh, one of the kids or something was throwing a party, and, um, so, gang members showed up, and they shot someone in the, shot someone in the room. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> so, you know, your neighborhood. No. Yeah. I also so, live, like, right behind where a, uh, what is it called? A, uh, a car place? A car dealership? So, there's, like, easy access to my backyard. Like, you can just jump over. And back when I was in middle school, we used to do that. <laughs> So, don't live in the most secure place. Don't live in the most... Oh, and like, also, down the street, the house, like, at the corner, burnt, burnt down. 
it just like went up in flames and burnt the fuck down. Like this was a long Ooh. time ago too. Um, they actually rebuilt the house and it looks really fucking nice. Well, wow, oh, they actually nice. rebuilt the. Ooh, yeah. Oh, that that reminds me of something that's really been big in our news, like what? really big. Um, there was, you know, you know, like building regulations in which everyone should follow, and when you build a big building, you should definitely follow. Some people in this country didn't follow it. There was this huge apartment, uh, you know, it's like apartment, like flats, like, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, there's really, really tall, like loads of apartments, uh, tall. I'm trying to describe it because I don't think you like, use the word so flat. At least 30 stories tall. I know yeah, what at least, I know yeah, what the yeah, yeah. So we got them flat. So, um, it was huge, like, and it had this, uh, cladding on the outside and it's supposed to be fireproof. This one wasn't. And oh, one of the, one of the near bottom floors caught fire. And you know, the, the, the fireman was like, like it's supposed to be fireproof, just stay in your things, but we'll set it out from the outside and it'll be safe. Did not happen. In 15 minutes, it was just a roaring pillar of fire. 79 missing, like five confirmed dead, and they just haven't even found all the bodies yet. Oh my gosh. It's this really is, big, really big thing. When did this happen? Apparently if you watch it, it just went up like a candle. Like just went, yeah. like the fire just rizzed like to the top in like minutes. Yeah, it's people jumping out. It was such a tragedy because like, you know, the, the firemen were obviously following their protocol. Obviously, you're not meant to run through smoke, but so they're like, no, just stay in the building, you know, because, you know, regulation, you don't have fire burning material on the outside of your building. Oh, this happened so, yeah, like, this happened like recently. Yeah, yeah it was this is really recent. still in the news. They're still, yeah. Uh, yeah. they've only confirmed the fifth person, I think, but they're still trying to confirm yeah. people. Yeah, but, like the Scotland Yard spinner after, like they're just trying to pin it on someone. Oh my God. <laughs> So yeah, yeah, they're chasing up all the building things. I think Scotland Yard are chasing up the building, the builders who did the regulations. They're gonna try find the person responsible. Is that the story that I heard someone threw their uh, threw their child out the window and someone caught it? Wait, what? Really? I think so. I, 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 someone has to confirm. I actually don't know. I apparently <laughs> it uh, apparently uh, we're getting from uh, random sources that they did, but like I did hear recently in the news that someone did do that. I that don't. is a hell of a catch, man. Well, I mean, it's either that or burning in a furnace. Yeah. So it's like, it's like, good catch, catch me next. <laughs> <laughs> now you always save your children first. That's what happens. Yeah. Your your parents. Yeah. By the way, like um, London, Britain, British, everything. You guys don't have good houses. They're next to each other. They're fire hazards. Yeah, we're a very small country, sir. But why would you guys want to burn to death? <laughs> No, because usually they're fire resistant. Like, yeah, you, it you, was like, not meant brick. to do that. We don't have wooden houses like you guys. W wasn't there a, ha a ha like a wasn't there a great fire in Britain like a long time oh, ago when we had sixteen sixty six? Sixteen sixty six, sir. Man buried his palms and cheese <laughs> in the garden because it's so valuable. Even though it's probably a myth. Okay, you have to understand. In America, we we literally get no context of anything from Britain. Yeah, <laughs> we we're we're told that things happen. We don't get told what happens and why and who did it. <laughs> Yeah, er erasing memory from the last few minutes. Jen, what happened first? The Great Fire of London or the apartment building catching fire? Oh, God. <laughs> <Sweats>. <laughs> it's, not the, it's not the only reason. I'm sweating. It's fucking like 113 degrees in California. Oh, my God. That's hotter than Dude. it is in Texas. It gets hotter and hotter here every summer in compared to Texas. Yeah, it's almost like, like there's a weird, like, warming of the globe somehow. I don't, I can't put my finger on it. That's no, insane. That's made up science. <laughs> not sure what you're talking about. It's, it's it's some budget like, cuts in that. Doesn't this sound is, like something that's currently taking place. It doesn't sound like anything like that happens in my America. <laughs> <laughs> These are some alternate effects you're giving us here. Yeah, the scientists that, like, proved it right are fired anyway, so it's like it's proven wrong now. Yeah, yeah. Global warming was a myth. There's no such thing as polar bears. Speaking of warming, we're going through a heat wave too. But every time I complain about it, it's usually to a Texan who says, Oh, that's not that hot. Well, it's not. Okay. Well, no. as someone who lives in California and every time we get anything cold, I can, I can uh, sympathize. So, you know, here's the thing. We're not complaining. It's not like, oh, no, it's so hot. No, legit, our country has not been this hot since 79. 2,000 people died that year. Like, no, just... we don't have, like, when I say it's hot, it's because we're ill-equipped for the hot. We don't have, like, air conditioning. Like, you know, people in hot countries are like, what are you complaining about? But you're sat in an air-conditioned house. We're sat drenched in our sweat and old people are dying. <laughs> All, right. All right, hold up. I can't go upstairs. Upstairs is like a, uh, an oven. No, I can right. imagine. All right, yeah, all right. Hold, I, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. 
First off, Matt said he was complaining. Second off, I'm in a room drenched in sweat because I don't have my fan on for the for the recording of the podcast. Shut up. <laughs> we, can't, we can't even buy a fan. They're sold boo-hoo. out everywhere. <laughs> oh, boohoo, you're suffering too. <laughs> <laughs> it's like when we get like a, a couple inches of snow and we're posting pictures going like, oh yeah, cool. It's look at all this snow, you know, work stopped for a day. And all these countries are like, oh yeah, you think that's bad? Here's five meters of snow. Huh? Yeah, we get so much snow. Where well, are you guys complaining? But we're like, we don't build our cars or our infrastructure around snow. We have to stop things because cars are sliding off the road because nothing's built for this. No, it was I, the same no, problem like, that we We can't had. complain about anything. I without empathize some, with you. Either heart or car. Or car like, and yet no. you cut my throat. Yeah. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no, no. I, I like you, Jen. Thanks for empathizing. I'm just saying in general, we can get I, can so I much actually... flack from hotter and colder countries. About oh, no, sorry if we have like a little abnormal weather. Two years nah. ago, um, Dallas froze over and um, me and Megan were going to a wedding that was in like North North um, North Louisiana. So we had to drive through Dallas. And this is the major thing. Like, because when it's the same kind of thing with me and Jen make a post about how cold it is because like for me when it gets 50 degrees 50 degrees fahrenheit that feels like serious like cold weather i need to get a jacket it's cold and i'm pretty sure you're on the same fence there um yeah dude it's it's, uh, like shit yeah but like we'll constantly get shit about like oh well last year it was so cold my balls froze off and they're still gone it's kind of like comments and shit like that but the um damn it let us be fucking (laughs) experiencing weather but no we just want to complain no it's the same thing and you want to complain no, but it's, right. it's the exact same thing with the uh, when it froze over in Dallas. It when we were driving through the city, it was terrifying. We saw like thirty six cars or something like that that had it run off the road, including eighteen wheelers that were just tumbling down hills because nobody knows how to drive in in yeah. icy roads because it doesn't happen. <laughs> I, so, I was gonna. Go ahead. No, no, I, no. I'm just gonna say it's terrifying. <laughs> Yeah, no, I was going to bring something like Matt Matt actually hit the nail on the head when he said, we're not complaining because it's cold or hot. We're complaining because our country's ill-equipped for that. I finally found the one which America, with the hot places are never equipped for. Because you make your roads from really flat surfaces and you keep your roads really flat. We don't. We have ours curved. Our roads are curved. They they actually bubble up because we're used to driving in the rain. We can do it all day. We know how to do it. We we are ready for it. But I was in America in Texas when it was like, a, a, like a, an absolute thunderstorm of rain. No one knew what they were doing. Yeah, Everyone oh god! Was like, uh, do you just drive normal speed? I'm, I'm terrified. And no, it it's it's fucking around. scary when it rains over here yeah. too. Like, mm-hmm. no, people don't know how to drive, and it people still drive fast, and it's, and you just see them and sliding you, to a stop, and it's just like, oh god! Yeah, and yeah. The roads are Plus, flat and smooth, like for nice hot weather, but our ones are like curved, so our water goes away. Yeah, that is our say, thing. Floods oh, in seconds that? in Texas. That, like, oh yeah, god, yeah. No, two because, minutes like, of rain and you got a puddle. And I'm like, why is there a puddle? Because I want like a, an, a, a camber. I was and like, you have to understand. Away. There's uh, like the soil around here isn't even made to hold water. Like it, it's it's a uh, <laughs> it's like a clay yeah. or a limestone. So it's just the water just sits on it. It doesn't it doesn't do anything besides that. Oh, was that just a little bit of water? Oh, what do you complain about? We have rain all the time. We're England. <laughs> now you know what it's like. Now you know. <laughs> but we were the doing it on the other foot. <laughs> it doesn't the justify one? it to the people who empathize with you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, these guys. Just, the, the, the thing I was going to say about England, though, the stupid thing is like when it's cold, like in the winter, you'll hear everyone complains like, oh, man, it's bloody cold out there. You have to get your coat on. You have to have three jackets on, you know? And then as soon as it's summer, as soon as we get really hot weather, we get everyone going, bloody hell, it's hot out there. I can't stand it. They eat. I have to have a go inside and have an ice cream. It's like no matter what we do, we always complain. I think it's a British thing. No, we that's just a human complain about well, everything. I'll, I'll be, I'll be honest. That is a stereotype with Britain. Yeah, like, like it's like general complaints. I'm yeah, here that, to confirm. We're, we're, that's officially yeah, confirmed. Myth busted. We complain a lot. <laughs> we're really handsome. We have really good teeth. We don't drink much tea. You know, all the, all the nice stereotypes. <laughs> that's, that's, that's <laughs> all honest, right. You know. That's the teeth thing wasn't. The nice teeth wasn't the stereotype. Yeah, nice teeth. We're all really good looking. You know, we we all like all the girls love us. You know. I it's will just, say. You know, okay, wait. The girls love you thing. That's totally true. <laughs> I think that's such a funny thing because if like people, <laughs> girls love the aristocratic stereotype, but the yeah, what mate is what makes up a lot of our. Population. You mean the, what? What is it? What is it called? Uh, chavs. Yeah. Chavs. Yeah. Chavs. People what? assume we're all I'll gentlemen. Bash you. When... <laughs> Actually, bash him, bash him to be fair, I noticed a, a vast difference in terms of manners when I went to America in terms of like. 
uh, holding out doors and no one saying thank you. I'm like in England, you I get hate shot that. For that if you had a gun. I hate you that. Get shot. <laughs> you get you get challenged to a duel. No, that's Canada. No, that's Canada. <laughs> Wait, You'd is get... that a legal thing again? Oh, Can they oh my god. Do that? Okay, okay. So I'm not. This isn't wasn't going to be part of the news, but like the other week. It became legal to be to challenge someone to a duel in Canada. You can legally, if you're a citizen of Can- Canada, challenge so- someone else to a duel. That's mm. it's time. Spike, get your armor. Get your cards. Oh, wait, what were you saying? I guess I said get your armor. Yeah, no, get your armor and your cards, and just just go. It's time to do 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 get an old warrior, and then just like stab them in the side. <laughs> just paper cut them with the blue eyes. I attack your life points directly. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> wow, I don't even remember whose week we were on. I think it was Matt's. Yeah. Like, that's... Matt, was there anything else? Is this just complaining no, about the weather? That's the thing. I had a very boring week. All I did was get addicted to looking at airsoft videos that I'll probably never do. And then Creep said about the tower card and it started going to haunted houses. Jen, how was your week? Uh, for the most part, um, uh, I worked, uh, I went to work and worked on a bunch of new machines, uh, got complaints from old people, old people don't know how to work, um, I'm better than old people, fuck old people, uh, anyways, <laughs> um, on to better news of my week, storm, blood, storm, blood, storm, blood, storm, blood, 14, I feel like we've moved on to the news now, this is, okay, this I is the go. news, <laughs> there's, there's no blood. point in me being hit, oh, and then let me finish, storm, blood, storm, blood, <laughs> storm, blood, <laughs> So, this is Final Fantasy XIV game. <laughs> Final Fantasy XIV's uh, Final Fantasy XIV's early access on Stormblood started on Friday. It is now released as of today, the 6th, 20, 2017. Stormblood is out, and I am level 67, and I am not even that far in the story quest. You want to know why? Because Final Fantasy XIV wasn't equipped to be ready for the amount of people <laughs> that were going to play on the fucking early access. <laughs> Apparently, it was like 500 people were allowed in an instance per data center. You know how many data centers there are? There's 12. <laughs> and we're wow. on Aether. Aether is the biggest fucking data center because we have Guild Commission Balmog. One's the hardcore Savage Raiders. The other one is a fucking RP server. The RP server is filled to the brim. Oh my god. Like, you can't. It's so filled that you can't go there anywhere. They're trying to get people to get out of there. They made a new server and they're giving people 1 million gil to transfer from Gilgamesh to the new server. What? They're saying, for the love of God, leave this fucking server. It's not not that important. It's not worth it. You can't. Save your characters. You're not, you're, Save not allowing, your you're not allowing people to register. You're not allowing people to transfer. You're fucking over your own economy. There's no houses. There's no apartments. <laughs> you can't do anything there. God. Fucking leave, leave <laughs> Google. It's just like, and you know what the funnier thing is? On that news post, one of the recommended servers to transfer to is Goblin. It's oh. our server. That's our server, the smaller server. And my God, even for a small server, there was a shit ton of people playing. Yeah, seriously. Like, I was actually really surprised when when um, I was looking in there that we still had such a huge crowd that was stuck at that broken uh, that broken instance. Oh, okay, so. That's the th- that was the thing I was talking about. The we weren't prepared for this many people to play in early access, and it was there is an instance that's like five main scenario quests into Stormblood, which is now known as the Ruban Wall, or Ruban EX, where there is the instances allow about five hundred people in it, and so you get to this part, you'd watch the cutscene, and it would say a system error has occurred, and you don't get in. It just kicks you back out. And you're just standing there with another group of people. Everybody's clicking spam- and spamming and trying to get in. And nothing happens. And you spend the next two days trying to get in. Two days. It took us two days to get in. Because they didn't. They couldn't be in. And um, so people's solutions. Apparently this worked on the Japanese server. But I don't believe it. Was let's form a line in game. Let's form a line <laughs> to take this mission. It's like the Division all over again. Oh my god. That's right. That happened to the Division. I was going to say. Yeah. What happened in the Division? I don't even recall that. Don't. Oh. To get to get into the game, well, you sign up online. You had your character, and you had to go to this laptop to actually sign up your your account in the game. So you had to walk up to it, and only one person could use it at a time. So thousands of people had to form queues, like full on lines to to get in. Oh, you know what? I remember that. Wasn't that when the division still had a um, had collision, and you couldn't, and the line was going through a door, and sometimes people would just stop in front of the door and not move. <gasps> oh, no, I didn't know about that bit. Oh my god. That sounds like, amazing. I'd pay $60 to do that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
that was a beta issue and it was apparently a fixed release but like i remember that another huge problem with the division now that we're kind of going off to this was the division had this huge bug that everyone exploited every single person exploited and they were just like farming for loot and i remember that the division uh team was like all right so everybody's doing this so we're just gonna reset reset everyone's character what because oh. too many too many people are doing it and i remember that the outlash was fucking tremendous like wow i don't even think the division is oh a playable God. game anymore yeah didn't sound like it's ever been a playable game <laughs> it looks so buggy like i don't know i only saw a few videos on it and it's mostly people falling through floors <laughs> like when they hop over a fence and they kind of get stuck in the fence sort of glitches that's fucking amazing Oh my god, but uh, yeah, so that's what we've been dealing with with 14, is we can't get into this since we can't leave the first area. A certain number of people have got into the first area and they know what's going on. And they, every now and then you'll see someone with a, a different mount and you'll be like, oh, I want that. And you, and then you'll do what I did and you'd be in the first area and you would see a giant, a giant group of people, like a hundred people running around doing fates in the first area just to level because there's nothing else to do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's really weird. The what? I don't know. You, you and everyone has been trying to get me back into fourteen. I've been saying no the whole time because it's so good, reason, man. Yeah, no, it's not though. But the thing is, yes, you it saying, is. You, you saying someone walking past with a new mount just gave me this weird nostalgia of like, oh, I want to go fourteen. But no, I'm just like, I'm gonna rip it out of my heart. Like, no, I can't okay. afford to okay. start an MMO. Okay, whoa, 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 I was gonna on. say, you are the one who keeps bringing up every once in a while. Hey, we should get back into uh, the secret you get world. Back into the secret oh, world. God damn it! Like, this is the you. problem. All right, I'll, I'll get back when they release uh, Japan. <laughs> Fuck you, Spike. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, Creeps, I need to tell you something super important and super spoiling. Wow. In the new section of Stormblood, not only is there a, a giant map that's just the sea, you can go underwater and you will find people who are just turtles and their village is all about fishing. And they teach you how to spear fish. <gasps> Ooh, I can be cool first. Oh my god, spear fishing <laughs> would be so cool. I've been streaming that fishing planet so much. Like, hours of my streams are just fishing planet now. Like it's it's usually just oh yeah yeah um I, I want I want to end stream soon we'll just do a bit of a fishing planet hours it will just be hours of me on fishing planet because it's so fun just cast it you reel it in you wait you reel it in nothing you cast it you just do that over and over until you get a fish yeah that sounds like fishing yeah yeah in fact I think I think I'll explain to everyone like because you know public podcast i'm gonna tell you about my character my character for a start was called giant woman which i thought was really cute because <laughs> i was 14? a giant woman or, yeah, yeah, yeah. Planet. no no I'm, I'm 14 i'm giant okay. woman that was my first name giant last name woman people used to keep trying to erotic role play with me for some strange reason i wonder but it was why really funny yeah I, I started my character you have the little crest next to you and everyone was like, okay, level level up your, your 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 skills. Level up so you can do dungeons with us. Get to a decent level. We can do dungeons together. It's going to be fun. I got like 10 levels in, but most of the time I was either running around Limps and Limosa, dancing and emoting to people and starting huge parties, or I was fishing. And it was so funny because like I'd be this really low level character. I'd be dancing with these high level people. They'd, they'd feel so happy that they'd make me the best equipment for my level. I'm like... Oh, sweet. Oh, thank you so much. I'm like, I'm going to go now. And I'll change my fishing gear, which I was max level that I could be like level 50 and run off. I, I was so high. I maxed out fishing, but I was nothing in anything else. Oh, it was just fishing. I want a pure fishing. And then fishing is also one of the most worthless skills as well. <laughs> I was going to say, it's like the least okay. lucrative business. I know. Like. And the problem was that he could have actually been super useful in Heaven's Word. We needed a lot of shit from fishing and no one wanted to do it. I, yeah, I could have, I could have done that, been that. Yeah. Thing. But no, I was happy with my purple overalls, sitting, catching, like, one gill worth fish. I was not so only happy. That, not only that, you went after, like, the rare, started going, trying to go after the rare fishes and try to finish your fishing log, and I was just like, fucking why? <laughs> I, I live a simple life. Not everyone has to be high-level adventurer killing I even, things. I even went and made you the high-quality level 50 fishing gear. And then you just, yeah. that's all you did. Squandered. And then I made it purple. <laughs> and then and, I was so happy. And at the time, someone gave you a fucking incredibly expensive pet. Yeah, they, they, you, the people were just giving me pets. People just give me things because I'd just be dancing. And like, I just run up to people crafting and I'd just cheer for them for like 20 minutes. 
I never played the game properly. I just cheer for people <laughs> who are crafting, and then they'll just make me a necklace or something. I'm like, well, you're so sweet. And then I go up to people and just talk to them. It was just so fun. I was having <laughs> so much fun, but I never liked the combat. I never liked doing dungeons. I was just having fun socializing and fishing you and play the MMO completely wrong. You didn't like doing dungeons? I mean, it was all right. I liked I liked Unfair. having a sword and shield. Actually, I like I like throwing the shield. That's the one thing that made me happy I'm when dying. I was fighting. I'm dying inside. <laughs> I liked throwing the shield. That was my favorite thing. And if I ever lose that move, I'm just gonna quit the game again. The, the game still has that move. Also, combat changed, so it's a lot a lot simpler now, and it's also very visual based. Mm -hmm. can, like can you can literally just like, look um, at a counter. Can What's you up? have the game play itself? Uh, it is called botting, and you will get banned for it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I don't want a bot. I just want to do like the, you know that Final Fantasy that was so complicated that there was an auto button. I think thirteen. Thirteen. Yeah, I, I just want the auto button. That happens on a lot of RPGs though. Like like even Chrono Trigger had like a auto combat system, which would just mm. be like these are the priority attacks, and if you're dying, probably heal. Yeah. See, that's my biggest fear is going back into fourteen and not rem like I don't remember how to fish. I don't remember anything about fishing. I don't remember anything about the game. So I'm scared of just going back in and being like, oh, well, well, takes you about 10 uh, minutes. Yeah, I was going to say, Matt came back not over. too long ago. Like it's he fucking started, Matt started playing the market immediately the second he got back in. And he, yeah. He, he knew exactly what <laughs> to do. It's a problem <laughs> is what it is. I went back to Botany. Like, like you creeps, I'm not a fan of dungeons, but I like doing the wood chopping one. So I'm there going, K -k 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 -k. oh no, wow, flaxseed. It's, it, it's such a hurtful thing to say because like dungeons is my favorite part of the fucking horror team dungeon runners <laughs> podcast what is the name of the show again <laughs> the first these, was it the fishing runners were the fishing runners no it hurts, it hurts me so much because <laughs> like the dungeon even the, the dungeon runners began in fucking the secret world because we were running dungeons with with, with our, our, our our buddy barnabas damos spike and sometimes creeps no i'd be there yeah sometimes no he was, a, he was a he was a big part of it yeah yeah. yeah. Oh, that's right. We brought that's you in to replace. Time. We brought you in to replace someone because we needed someone yeah. to times. <laughs> oh, um, <laughs> that's right. The DPS. Uh, yeah, the big Spe dips. Yeah. Speaking about dungeons, uh, I I told this to Spike, but uh, I thought I don't know if you guys heard it. While I was making toast with butter and jam, by the way, I thought of the funniest D and D campaign oh idea that I've ever come up with, and I really want to do it. You guys want to hear it? Yeah, tell us. Shoot. So, so imagine like a, a really like proper sweaty nerd, like just you know greasy face, glasses, or you know just look in a mirror if you really want to know. And like imagine he's like, ah, you know, he lives in a rural town. He gets bullied a lot by like the farmer kids, the hillbillies, and like the the cool guys, the jocks. And he's like, ah, I love D and D. I wish life was more like D and D. Things would be easier there. And then a tornado hits the town. He just takes up his house and, he's, whoa, whoa, and he lands in this weird land. Steps outside, there's elves and dwarves. Is this the Wizard of Oz? <laughs> yes, it's the Wizard of Oz. And you guys, like you guys will be playing like, instead of like the Tin Man, the Scarecrow, this and that, it will be like a, a dwarf, an elf, a warrior, and a mage or something like that. And uh, they all have their own personality quirks and it's about his journey, but being helped by these other people who have their own goals. And then they could be like, the wizard at the end who'd be like a, the the DM, quote unquote DM, who's like, I have been orchestrating everything with roles. Rah, 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 rah. And it'd be so it'd be so fun. You gotta admit that is a cool idea. Okay, but can I be a dwarf tin man? Yeah, he would be the tin man because he's like technology, isn't he? Can I be yeah. an elf tin solid man. gold outfit? No, Matt. No, what? Matt, you're banned. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You step outside, sweaty nerd, and you see a dwarf tin man. An elf tin man, a dragonborn tin man, <laughs> and a human tin man. <laughs> I like it. That's what the Wizard of Oz was. You was, look right? down and you look at your arms, you realize that you are, in fact, a tin man. <laughs> the house, clad with iron, is now a tin man. <laughs> you see some, some stockings underneath the a, a house. It's a tin man's legs. <laughs> it's a tin man. You landed on a tin man. <laughs> Your first encounter, tin man. Tin man. <laughs> oh my god. I want to be in this tin man game. I'm down. I'm All down. characters are the same Dude, character. 
<laughs> ten man campaign. No, no, okay. Ten. There was another campaign that I actually wanted to do with you guys, but would be incredibly difficult as fuck to role play. Um, Why? It would be doing a, a Modron campaign, uh, where you'd start off as a single Monodron, and then you, as you level, you'd be leveling up into Duodrons and Tridrons. The only thing that becomes difficult about that, however, is as a Monodron, you only know one word. As a Duodron, you'll know two. As a Tridron, you'll know three, and so forth. Can I choose the word? Yes. <laughs> bitches, 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 bitches. <laughs> ass, would be ass, super ass, hard. Ass. <laughs> oh yeah, bitches, 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 <laughs> bitches, yeah, bitches. <laughs> can can I choose? Like, I want the first word I know to be ass, and the second one to be titties, and I'll be like ass. Titties, He's evolved. Ass titties, ass ass titties titties ass titties. See, everyone, everyone now is hearing why I don't want to be in that campaign. The <laughs> <laughs> creeps. Why? No, that would be my word. Why? why? Every time someone why? comes up to me, it's like, why? Oh, I want my word to be not. Why? <laughs> not. Why? Not. Why? why? Not. Chosen ones, you have been <laughs> born to take down the evil. Why? Not. Why? <laughs> because you're the chosen ones. Why? Not. <laughs> Or like the other one would be. No, and. I'm seeing your point, creeps. <laughs> and <laughs> I like it. I want to do it. Let's do it. Yeah, we should do it. I don't want to ever get past. I don't want to ever learn another word. I just want to stay there. I don't want to get better. <laughs> <laughs> it would be perfect. <laughs> So we're all That's playing right. tin men who can only say one word. <laughs> yeah. Like, yes. Well, the Modrons are, and there's two are DMs. magical robots. So there's is, two tin DMs? Man a, is tin man one word? Yeah, I don't know. Ask sci-fi. Hyphen? Is it, conju is it conjunction one word? Yeah, um, if you can hyphen like multiple words together and claim it's one word, just develop an entire lexicon from, a hy from hyphenating a dictionary. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Spike, wow. answer the questions. Uh, yes. Yes, nice. it is. And and <laughs> see, I feel like we're we're not good at uh, what is it called improv improv comedy. I don't think we can structure a sentence from each other's one word phrases. Uh, well, I mean that's also why you'd be leveling. Eventually, you'll be able to probably say six words. I don't want to wow. say six words. Wait, can I that's just say? Nice. Can I just say like very similar words? Like no, no, and no. But it's <laughs> two, 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 and two, like all the different types. Yeah, of which, <laughs> which, yo, 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 yo. <laughs> which, which, weather, weather. Or just max out why, so you can do it in so many expressions. Why? Or can I? Can I just learn why? the same word in different languages? Okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> See. <laughs> See. Be a Spanish bot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just learn a word in a completely different language Gracias. to everyone else in the world. Gracias. <laughs> just all the time. Donde estas is biblioteca. How is the library? <laughs> how, how is it? Yeah, how is it? <laughs> I've got to say how. I don't know. Remember how to say where? It's like the first <laughs> phrase they teach you too. Where is the? Li <laughs> how is the library? <laughs> Very fine, thanks. <laughs> thanks. And? <laughs> uh, wow, man, we've been talking for a long time. I think it's kind of time to wrap it, wrap it up. We didn't get to the news, but I'll be honest, there's not a whole lot of news. There's just like some things are coming to PC, but it's like we already knew about it. Uh, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure OVA is spotted, but it's not out, and there's no... Wait, what? I don't think there, there isn't a JoJo Bizarre Adventure OVA for Rohan. This is a spoiler for people who are watching... Uh, Joseph's Rose's Adventure apparently is gonna be out sometime in June 28th, but it, that doesn't mean you'll get an English version anytime soon. Mm. Especially not like a like a pirated version. I mean, not that we do that. No one does that. It's illegal. Anyways, it's time to end the podcast. Uh, <laughs> so this this was the Dungeon Runners podcast. Uh, you can follow us on twitch.tv slash Dungeon Runners. If you ever want to send us a question, a theoretical or otherwise, you can send it to Dungeon Runners Podcast at gmail.com. That's Dungeon Runners Podcast at gmail.com. You can also subscribe to us on YouTube where we post the, the video that we stream every Tuesday. As well as you can find us on SoundCloud and I believe now iTunes, right? Uh, yeah, iTunes and Google Play. We're up on there now. It's yep. a thing. It's you official. Can, you can take us to the go. On the go. 
To the girl. To the girl. To the go. This this episode of the podcast was sponsored by Christmas Pasta. Christmas Pasta at twitch.tv slash Christmas Pasta. That's me. You now have to pay us, you, yeah. Yeah, that's actually yeah. a requirement. You, you say the word now. sponsor, yeah. yeah, yeah it's it's kind of I'll pay you per pay, click. Yeah. The amount of people <laughs> say they came directly from here. And if Don't. they're new names, I'll pay you a dollar. Don't Ooh. make me. I'll, I'll, I'll put up a link that I can keep track of. Don't make me. <laughs> do the do bitlies. I'll do it. I'll, I'll find out the statistics. We'll just bot the link. Just send like <laughs> a thousand bots. <laughs> <laughs> They're all brand new. All right. All Thank you dollars. for coming to the Dungeon Runner podcast. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye.